like that we see different techniques. I know you guys like to see different techniques. But frankly, yeah, the only technique I like, you guys, is the one that goes the fastest possible and does the best job. All right. I mean, fastest. It's not the fastest possible, um, though it is the simplest possible. Okay, uh, and that really that's what works the best. All right. Uh, now the uh, mapping here is the y-axis UV mapping, plan obviously. Bing. And you get them right here. You know, you want to reshape them the size. They should be like that. That looks pretty good. All right. And now you're gonna probably take just one of them and move it close to the other. Actually, you could just move it on top of the others uh, because like that you do both at the same time and on the pencil it works just fine. Okay, so let's do that. Let's put them top on each other just like that. Now you have both of them at once, which works very well um, for quick work. Okay, now we have that left right here and that's part of the belt. Okay, let me see which one it is though. It's one of them that probably wasn't taken properly. See, that's why you don't want to miss anything. And it's right here, okay? And I'm gonna sew it to it. And that one right here. Yeah, it's the one right here on that. Um. Let me deal with that in a couple seconds, actually. Uh, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach those right here. Okay, so I want to figure out what's what, first of all. So I can see where they are. Okay, that one is right here. So that's the outside of it. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, there's a right there. Okay. That one, probably the other one right there. Okay. Well, let's take the one right here first. Let's do that right here. It doesn't matter. Oops, yeah, I get one too many. And let's take those. Right here. Okay. Let me bring that right there. Let me move that one over there and we put that right here okay now we are gonna basically reattach it you know um so it's seamless like that. that's the best way to do it man see that's the one missing right here okay so let me just redo the top one because we don't want that story so i probably missed that one right there okay yeah exactly so let me re just remap that quickly give me seconds it's better uh, you guys, uh, because it will ensure the proper result, okay? All right, you see right here? So now I'm going to just project it again, and it's the Y. Right here, okay? I don't really care. I was going too many this time, sorry. <laughs> Hilarious. Not wide enough, and now one twenty. It's not it's a big deal. Right here, okay. Let's project that. You have to project it to cut it out, okay, you guys. Now it's cut out. It's fine. I can scale it what the heck I want. It's not a big deal because it's gonna be used. Um, you know, all your parts are right here, okay. I'm gonna still reproject the back one now to ensure proper quality better off making sure that they are all selected and mine is doing much better now with the new colors they have for selection i think it's pretty cool oops what am i doing oh, yeah. i don't need those those have been already done i'm talking to you guys there you go let me check that right here. Always ensure that. That's the first thing you want to ensure. Right there. Nothing else has been selected. You get it all. Now you can create the planner again. Bing. Okay? So you get them both now. Right here. That one and that one. Okay? 
select UV, select one of the UVs right here, go to the tool, which is uh, select tool right here, select shell, and move it down right there. Okay, now you are going to check which one is what by right clicking and selecting edge and see where is the edge. Awesome. Okay, we're doing pretty good. What we're going to do now is flat it up basically. Okay, so to flat it up, it's really easy. You got, I do it the old way. Okay, I think it's faster, I think it's better. Uh, all right, which is basically, I select the UVs, I want to flat up. right here and actually get the tool the scaling tool move right here you guys and move it down where i think it should belong okay same thing for the second one right there put it where you think it should belong up right here, scale it and back it down. That should be fairly small. You got to get the same size that you have on the mesh. That is very important if you don't want to have any stretching. Okay, now right here. Bring it down. Now, also, one thing you don't want to do, um, you might want to do it this way also to ensure uh, that it's nice and clean. All right. We don't really have to. That's not always a bad thing. I like to clean up my stuff. Right here. Well, now I'm going to check again what is what. All right, right here. It works for me. Yeah, it works for me. So it's all good now. It's just a matter of moving those UVs where they belong, basically, for now, and then sewing them up. So I'll move them as close as I think it should be. Right there. You see, it's a pretty easy process, as you can see. It's not even time consuming, it's just fun, actually. I always love doing that. I think it's fun. Actually, I love everything in Shabaiti, so that's why I do that job. Okay, now, what you do now is I'm going to bring it down a little bit to ensure it's not stretching too much, right? Because they, sh they should be next to each other. I like to select them so manually, so I like to go in and do it manually. right here and you just saw it like the others so I use the G control to redo my last operation which is very useful in Maya there you go that's done so we have right here succeeded in attaching the top with the top now we um it'd be nice to uh, be able to uh, grab now let me see and do the same thing for the belt under so that would be so nice to be able to do that um, and we are going to do that just gonna move that up a little bit. Right here. Now we are going to check out which one now. So we're talking about those. Let me do faces so I can see what the heck I'm talking about. So we're talking up front right here. So what we want to find is those right there, which is the one right here. So if we get that in UVs, get that and select a shell. This is exactly what we want to put under. Now we want to check what's what. So edges right here. Perfect. So we get one. That's the top. And we 